Hey guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing the long waited for Black Friday haul. So if you guys don't know me, you guys know that I love a good deal. I love getting things super cheap. It is very rare that I buy things full price. Um, I don't know. It's just, I just like a good sale. And I'm just one of those girls that when I see Black Friday, I go a lot and I save for a couple of months. <laughs> so I had recently done a Black Friday haul when it was Black Friday. I think it was the weekend of the 25th and um, unfortunately I hadn't had time to film it because the weekend after because um, I only got in stuff during the week and then the weekend after I was also in purple so I couldn't film one but here I am today don't worry guys I'm gonna show you all of the things that I bought for Black Friday I didn't honestly buy much for myself I mainly got stuff for my family and friends for Christmas just because it saves me a lot of money in December and we all know that December and January is like 3,000 it's a 3,000 day month and it takes forever so I try to do majority of my Christmas shopping in November while all these crazy Black Friday sales were happening so that I would have more money in December to last me to January. <laughs> okay so the first product I want to talk about is something that I was really really excited about. Um, I mentioned it in my stories that I managed to get my hands on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. But even though I bought it for myself on Black Friday, my boyfriend actually bought it for me. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I saw it on Milo, what was it? No, Beyond Cosmetics and I was like, okay, I have to have this. My boyfriend was planning on getting me an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I was like, I'll buy it for you on Black Friday for myself, but you're actually buying it for me. So I managed to snag it for 880 Rand and then I think it was 75 Rand shipping. And then I got a 20 Rand um, shipping insurance just in case it broke. I was quite paranoid about it. And then um, kindly, uh, Beyond Cosmetics had said that usually with every Anastasia Beverly Hills purchase that you get, you usually get a little goodie inside. So I managed to get a liquid lipstick as well in the shade, I think something rose dusty rose or something like that so unfortunately I can't show it to you because it's actually my Christmas present but when I do my Christmas haul as you guys know I also love shopping so I always like to show you guys what I buy and how much I get it for so yeah I will be showing you guys when I get my Christmas present and then I'll do a look for you guys today so, I mean not today but like for Christmas okay so then the next product I want to talk about is something that I've been wanting to get my hands on for the longest time and it was an Ofra Cosmetics highlighter so I have swatched this one um, just because I couldn't help myself and there's a lot to be said for Ofra highlighters and when I swatched this bad boy oh my god okay so Ofra Cosmetics I think had a 40% off sale these usually retail for just over um, 250 Rand so this is just the mini um, because it was all I could afford at the time I probably will try and get the palette when I'm richer but I got it in the shade pillow talk and when you open it there's a cute little mirror so it's really cool for on the go so I managed to get I think it was so if this retails for 250 I managed to snag it for 150 but it was a hundred and shipping so I ended up paying 250 Rand so I basically paid full price but I didn't so I still bought it anyway even though the the shipping was quite expensive but bearing in mind I literally got it the next day and I ordered this on like midnight so thank you Ofra for your impeccable service so I'm very excited about this because as I said Ofra Cosmetics and their highlighters are like a game changer in the highlighter world so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit on my brush and then on the one side I'm going to use it without a setting powder or setting spray and then on the other side I'm going to do it natural so let's just do it now <gasps> this is the first time I've actually put it on top of foundation and my uh, god uh, ooh, ooh, so pretty <laughs> oh my god This brush is a bit thick though because I couldn't find my my uh, my usual highlighting brush but I'm not mad so I'm just going to blend it into my contour. <laughs> Ofra did that. Ofra did this. Ofra, you did this. Oh god. Okay. Then I'm going to use the same brush but I'm going to use a setting spray. I'm just going to take my, my Kiki setting spray that I've nearly finished, love this stuff, 
And then I'm going to wet my brush to see what it looks like because why not? <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit more on my brush and then I'm going to wet it to see how like intensely I can actually get this because I don't think. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is literally, it's kind of like, I don't want to say white, but it has like that kind of pearly, iridescent kind of vibe. Um, it's very beautiful. I'm not sure how it would look on dark skin. I think I'd have to play it around whenever I get um, African skin clients or just darker skin ladies. Um, because that kind of can be a hit or miss because sometimes it will leave a white cast. But looking okay, straight on, it just looks so beautiful. It does look a little bit pearly from like the front, but then as soon as you turn, I think in order for this to be like wearable, like for daytime, go with a light hand. But I mean, hello, this is so beautiful. Then I'm just going to take that same color. And while we're here, let's just highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. And let's just go to town. Because while we're here, like a lot comes on the brush. Oh my god. That for an inner corner highlight is bomb. And it's super finely milled. So it doesn't look like chunks on the skin. And sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I don't really like using a chunky highlight on clients just because I feel like it looks too makeup-y, especially if I'm doing like a, like a wedding makeup or like a matric dance. Unless they specifically ask for it by all means. But um, this is like the perfect highlight. So I definitely feel like I want to get a lot more like wearable shades for deep tones as well. Um, but this highlight is, is blinding. It's definitely one of my most blinding highlights I've ever gotten in my life and if one is like this can you imagine the others because I mean like oh, that was beautiful okay so I managed to get obviously from Ofra and then the next thing I got um, while we're on Milo and Mo, I managed to get a Tony Moly face mask. Now, I've heard a lot about Tony Moly. I think they're a part of like the K-beauty, Korean beauty kind of vibe. And I've heard a lot about these. So, Milo and Mo managed to bring out the goods for Black Friday. If you guys have never shopped from Milo and Mo, go right now. <laughs> Milo and Mo, I bought from them previously before. I managed to get the Huda Beauty palette marked down from like $6.50 to like $4.95, which is so reasonable. When they have sales, they have sales hard. So next year, you best believe you better be adding stuff to your cart in advance at Milo and Mo because that stuff will fly. So these usually retail, like they aren't expensive. They usually retail for like 50 to 60 Rand. And I think I, no, was it more? I'll link everything down below, like the prices and all that. Um, but I think I paid like 25 Rand for this. And they usually retail between 50 and 60. So I managed to grab a few for gifts. But I managed to get one for myself because I was like, while I'm here, might as well get something for yourself. So I'm super excited to try this out. I won't try it on now because I have makeup on. But when I eventually do, I will make sure to put it on my stories. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, all my stuff is linked down below. And you'll be able to check this out when I eventually put it on. Love a good mask, love good skincare. You guys know me, I've battled with my skin before. So anything that works and is good for your skin, I'm like, we shall endorse this. Okay, so while we're on Milo and Mo, I managed to snag that on just, like I just bought masks on that Thursday when it was Black Friday. But then I went on Sunday and I was like, shit. They had marked their stuff down even more. And I was so bummed because they had like, Baker highlighters, Cover FX highlighters, all these like top brands that you wouldn't usually buy because it's too expensive here and they were like lower than cost price um, and by the way they're all 100% authentic so you don't need to worry about that I only buy authentic makeup unless I'm doing like on purpose testing out fake like fake stuff but um, they actually sold 
the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture for 370 Rand. I was so bummed that, and I was actually on a shoot that day, so I wasn't on my phone, but then I was like, it's Sunday, treat yourself, maybe there's a few more kind of, you know, some, 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 a little bit more of those markdowns. So then I stupidly go into Milo and Mo and spend even more than I wanted to. And then I bought an Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trio. Now, for me, Black Friday is building up my kits with makeup I wouldn't normally buy. So when it went, I don't know how to say this, but like being a makeup artist, I need to have a variety of products so that I can charge people accordingly. So I don't want to only have drugstore and I don't want to only have high end. So if people do have a budget, I have budget options for them. And if people do have the cash, I have really really nice products for them it's also really nice for brides just to make them feel a little bit more special so i always like to buy stuff that i wouldn't usually buy um like anastasia baby hills i wouldn't buy that on a normal day but because it's black friday and i save money i was like it's time to build your kit so that's what i've done <laughs> so this was originally marked up to 650 and i managed to get this for drum roll please i managed to get this for 190 rand so this is what it looks like. This is my second Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this is obviously the first one that I've tested. And it comes like this. Already, it is so heavy. It is so luxe. Even the box is fucking good quality. Like, wah. Okay, so. I haven't even swatched this. I haven't even used it. But, this is what it looks like. So it has a little film thing, which I'm going to keep on there. You best believe I will. And this is what it looks like. So this is super cute for traveling. It's super cute for having in my kit. These colors I think are really, really pretty for an everyday. Also very bridal, very natural, very lovely. And then it also comes with a mirror as well, which is super handy, especially if you're traveling. So I'm just going to take a blush brush and I think I'm going to dip into this pink over here. And I'm just going to, oh, it is she pigmented. I haven't even swatched these. I haven't even used it. So I'm just going to, oh that's pretty, I'm just going to pop this on my cheek. That's beautiful, it even complements the highlight as well because it's pink. Very pretty. I really like the colour. I think I'm going to be using this palette a lot. I do have, I don't actually buy blushes often. Um, but when I do, I had to buy this one because I was like, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. Splurge. Add to your kit, why not? So, this blush is beautiful and I think I'm going to be using it a lot on clients. Not so much myself because I'm just not a blush kind of person. Like, I'll use the other blushes before I end up using this one. But, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's beautiful. I'm not a blush connoisseur, so I don't know what it's supposed to look like. But, I know that that's really pretty. Okay, so then moving on. Um... While we're on Milo and Mo, I bought two more things from them. Well, actually one more thing. One, one of them was another Christmas present. So, um, I managed to snag a pair of lashes. This is from Battington Lashes. And this is what it looks like. The packaging is super sleek. I love this packaging. Um, they are the 3D silk lashes in the... I nearly said shade. In the style Monroe. And I think this came in the boxy charm. So, um, these actually retail realistically for 450 Rand, but I managed to get these for 90. So, these are super soft. I'm not going to put lashes on today because I do have a little bit of my eyelash extensions left and I do want to keep them on. But you best believe I'm keeping this box because this is cute. And it even says, if all else fails, batch your lashes. And that's exactly what I'm going to do when I test these bad boys out. Okay. Then, um, I've been obsessed with leopard print lately and I managed to get myself like a bit of a leopard print scrunchie. I managed to get this from Cotton On, it was marked down from 120 to 60. And if you guys know me, you guys know I love Cotton On and I only ever buy Cotton On stuff when they're on sale. So they also had a Black Friday sale and you best believe I bought a few Christmas presents for the people that I love and also a few things for myself. So yeah, really, really think this is super cute. Okay, and then on the last thing, before we get onto clothing, I managed to get my first ever Cover FX product. I managed to get the Shimmer Veil 
um, liquid lipstick, but you can also use it as a lip topper apparently. So this is what the box looks like. Um, this is very pretty. I managed to get this from Fashion Police. Now, I've spoken about Fashion Police quite a lot on my channel because I bought from them like I think three times. And their Black Friday sale was also pretty, really good. But because Fashion Police is kind of really, really popular, um, majority of their stuff was sold within like three minutes. I had so much stuff added to my cart. I had like, pff, I, don't even, I don't even remember that's how fast it came out of my cart. But I managed <laughs> to get this. So this was marked down from I think 350 to 150. 60 Rand shipping. So my order came within a couple of days. And this is in the shade Soleil. And this is what it looks like. It's just a normal um, liquid eyeshadow. So I'm going to add that onto my eyes today. I think it goes pretty well with the highlighter and the lid color. By the way, the lid color is from my ColourPop Dream Street palette. If you guys haven't seen my review on that, I'll link in a card. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand because hygiene, as you guys know, I do manage to use the stuff I have in my kit because I like to test out products before I actually put them on other people. So I put some on the back of my hand so that I don't contaminate <laughs> the, the formula and the everything. So I'm just going to pop this onto my eyelid. Whoo! Cover effects, where have you been my whole life? I really also want to get my hands on their like their highlighter palettes as well as their do they have a foundation? I'm pretty sure they do. Um I also want to get my hands on their drops. I'm really really keen on those. And what else? I really do really dig cover effects as a whole. Oh my god guys, this is so beautiful. Um, I really do dig cover effects as a whole as a brand and I really want to get my hands on more of their products. But anyway guys, this is freaking beautiful. I don't think you would need to cut your crease in order to... Because you know how sometimes people will cut their crease and then they'll put the shimmer over. I feel like if you have a sharp enough brush, my brush is trash today. But I feel like if you have a sharp enough brush, you can easily cut your crease without... Um, having that extra step of using concealer um this is freaking beautiful um super glad that i got this because i love liquid eyeshadows they're just super convenient to have and quick especially if you're in the go in the go especially if you're on the go and you want to do a cut crease quickly or if you have i mean this color is freaking beautiful so just going to finish up this eye If you guys bought anything from Black Friday, please let me know. I would love to hear what you guys have bought. I love haul videos. Guys, this highlight is so blinding, it's distracting me. <laughs> so that is what it looks like, guys. It is... I want to get all of them now. Flip it is so pretty. And it dries down pretty fast. So it's not going to like smudge on your eye. Um, super happy with this gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, and then I just want to finish off the eyes. So I'm just going to take this, um, this kind of color over here. I think this is in the color water, no, potion. I can't read. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm just going to take that color and just blend it on the outer of my eye and also blend in that gorgeous color. Keep it to look very basic today, guys. I um, really wanted to focus on the, on the products more than the look. just feel like this is so beautiful. Okay, moving on to clothing. I'm just going to... Or should I just finish my makeup first? Okay, I'll be right back. Let me just finish my lips and then I'll show you guys clothes. Okay, so the rest of my makeup is done. I just want to mention, I didn't get this for Black Friday because I don't think Essence had one at the Essence stores. But if you guys are looking for an amazing, affordable liquid lipstick, this is proper matte, okay? This is the color. Um, it's in the shade 03, Wanna Play. Um, my good friend Paige, who also does my nails and lashes, she recommended this to me and I was like, okay, fine. So I got it. 
and I'm so glad I bought it. It was only 60 Rand and this stuff is amazing. Most of my, I'll show you, most of my Essence lipstick claim to be matte, matte, matte. These lip glosses are literally matte lip glosses, but they don't dry down matte. So they don't, they aren't really long lasting. Stunning colors, but I don't, I don't use them because they don't last long. But... Essence wasn't lying when they said this was mad about mattes. These are amazing, amazing colors. Highly recommend if you're looking for a cheap alternative for a matte lipstick. Love this stuff. Have it on my lips now. And then I just popped on some Wet n Wild Balm Stain just in the center of my lip just to give it a bit of like definition. Just to make my lips look a bit plumper. Okay. So the first item of clothing I want to show you is this dress that I'm wearing now. I'll attach a picture of the model wearing it. Unfortunately, I don't have space in my room to show you what it looks like on. And I can't do a haul outside because it's raining. <laughs> so this is the dress that I bought. I got it from Superbulous, but it's actually from Supre or Cotton On. So it, as you guys know, again, I love Cotton On. I love a good steal. It's very rare. I buy stuff full price. So this kind of reminds me of a leopard print and I love leopard print lately. You guys know I do. <laughs> and um, I managed to get this dress for, wait for it, 134 South African Mandelas. So this dress was actually 450 Rand and there was no ways in fuck I was going to pay that amount. So I added it to my cart, praying and hoping that the gods of Black Friday would answer my prayers and make this on sale. And they did. And I got it for 134 Rand. Then the next thing I want to talk about, which is, you guys guessed it, it is also leopard print. I got this um, leopard print bodycon dress from Cotton On online. Um, it wasn't really a Black Friday sale. I got it like two days before Black Friday because I was scared it was going to get sold out on Black Friday. <laughs> so I got this dress for 150 Rand markdown from 350. It was still the same price for Black Friday so you can kind of call it a Black Friday sale. I love, love, love this dress so much. It is super comfy. The, I wish it was just a little bit more looser because even though I got a medium, it's still quite snuggy on the waist and on the bum. I would have liked it to be a bit looser so that it was more casual, but um, what I do to make it casual is that I just wrench it up in the tummy section, add a big chunky belt, and it kind of looks casual. But you could really dress this up as well because you can pull it quite low down, and then it almost reaches the knees. So it kind of kind of be like a classy um, leopard print dress. Then, you guys guessed it, I got another leopard print item. Um, this is my second purchase from Palm the Brand. One thing that I will say about Palm the Brand is that their sizing is a bit weird. So the very first time I ordered a bikini, I ordered a red one and the top fit perfectly. I ordered a medium um, and I had adjustable straps and then the bottoms were a bit loose. So I can't actually wear it out because you will literally see my coochie. But anyway, so uh, my friend Caroline, so she managed to get me this half half so I paid half and she paid half as my Christmas present because I wasn't expecting her to pay the full amount which was 350 marked down from 500 so this is what the top looks like I will attach the picture of the model wearing it also has adjustable straps this is a bit loose on me but I haven't adjusted the straps to fit my bust yet but this is what it looks like it is really really cute I love the leopard print it looks really good on a tan um, but it kind of also looks nice on pale skin as well for some reason. And then I got the bottoms. And the weird thing is, is that this bikini like fits me really, really nicely. Like this is, um, it's a high, it's a high leg bikini. So it's like, it's like really nice and uh, not a thong, but it's that like really nice cheeky cut. Um, so this fits really well on my body. So I'm really glad I got a medium. I think a small would have been too small. But there's a little bit of like, there's some space for you to like, get your booty gains and you won't like you know have to buy another one so yeah i got them from palm the brand and um marked down from 500 to 350 and they sent it to me um by courier so that was great so yeah that concludes my black friday haul excluding all the other gifts but obviously i can't show the gifts on camera or else everyone will see what i got them for christmas but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed my black friday haul and i cannot wait to show you the anastasia beverly hills palette i'm like ah, i'm so excited and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>